So, people wanted an MLP redraw. You're gonna regret you did. Hey roomies, welcome to my art room, and it's time to look at pictures of freaks of nature. The, the mirror is you, you freak. Every artist has old art they look back on and they're like, uh. Back when they drew it, they didn't have the skills they do now. And looking at old art is kind of like a self-critique mixed with cringe. However, I think it's an important thing to do because it shows how far you came. That's why those art memes like a year of your art or old sketchbook tours on YouTube are so popular. When you redraw your old art, it forces you to look at your skills and what you lacked then and now. Looking at this, I see something that was drawn on Gullah Gullah Island of Dr. Moreau. I was, and arguably still, am pretty damn brony. Even though I just call myself a pony fan since my like of it went way back into childhood. When G4 was a thing, I embraced it and I'm pre-embracing G5. Please don't hurt me, Hasbro. Don't fuck this up. And that resulted in me drawing tons of fan art. In the early days, I didn't see a centaur version, so I thought I would be the first, but I wasn't. I've chosen a safe option, but I wanted you to think I'm sane. Grrr. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Now kick. Pew. Ah! Let's look at this. The pony half's anatomy is close, but the human half is off. The face is flat. The inking is lumpy. I forgot to color it all in. I tried to do color holds, but I don't remember if I knew how back then, so I might have just retraced it in a color. And the expression is... Triangle. So, how do we make this better? The first thing I did was just sketch around. How was I gonna draw a Pinkie Pie? I don't stick to one style completely, but I like to explore how I wanna draw, ink, and finish off the work. I did an unrelated sketch in the corner to try and envision it. Of course I have reference, but what better ref than my own Pinkie Pie shrine? Yeah, yeah, look at it in drool, flexin'. The complicated part was the horse part. I looked at centaurs and fine art and pictures of horses for a pose I liked. I broke it down like I was taught to with humans. Breaking a figure down is studying and drawing over a figure to break into more understandable shapes. Note, this is not just tracing over an image. Teaching tangent! Just tracing over something doesn't mean you learned anything. Even if you trace something, it won't look like your work and it won't add to your skill set. Tracing isn't a cut and dry issue though. Tracing is okay in certain times when it's one, your own art, two, tracing photos you took yourself, three, tracing shadows on an object to help understand them. Although this technique is more in line with studying. Or four, professional use. Like when they're on a strict time schedule, a strict deadline, and it's only used as a starting point, not the end point. They add in multiple references, they have an understanding of the subject, and adding their own inventiveness. Tracing isn't cheating, but it can be a step in the process, like when people would use projectors in the old days. But without a foundation of learning and drawing from observation or anatomy studies, it's gonna be cringe. But when amateurs use tracing, they use it as a crutch. They don't know how to draw well yet, and just tracing may be a quick way to impress your deviant art middle school friends. But it won't help you see the figure. It won't help you see your subject in three dimensions. It won't develop foundational skills. And it will hamper you when it comes to your art journey. The result won't be as good as you think it will be, and people can tell. Also, it's never okay to trace another artist's work and just show it off as your own. That's what a-holes do. The A is for artists, so it's not cussing. So then, what do you do? Study your reference. Do a breakdown. A breakdown is like focusing on the big picture. It's like measuring and finding the shapes in an image. It can help you with drawing more three-dimensionally as well. A good video on this is Ethan Becker's Stop Tracing, Do This, or his video Draw Faces Easier. You take your photo reference and you break it down to understand it. You can even do this to try and draw in someone else's style. I've been doing this for a couple years now and it changed everything for me. Next, I try drawing it again while still going back to the reference to see how I'm doing. And I fix it as I go. It's basically like seeing if you got the right answer by checking your textbook or Google. And once you went through this, you can redraw it in so many different ways and styles. It's like a map you can follow. That sounds dumb. Of course you follow a map. But then you could go in all sorts of directions like Toonie 
or manga e. And if you got this far without getting dazed out by all that educational content, comment Pinky below so I know that you're alive or that you're harboring a deep, dark, open secret that involved filling a jar. No one will know which is which. Wink. So back to Pinky 4x2 here. I looked up centaur art and horses. I broke them down and I did the same process. I also tried things I've been wanting to do lately, like having thinner inks and brighter eyes that I stole from MLP G5. I changed the skin tone because the original felt very washed out and it trolls the races. I kept the colors flat because I love that animation look and I did a bit of shine in the mane, but I kept flip flopping on it. I did some Photoshop magic on the font and 80s up the background cause it's a party! Looking at this a few days later, there's still things that need to be fixed. The boobs are off, I forgot a shine spot in one of the eyes, and maybe I shouldn't have gone with the highlights cause it makes her look like she's gum. But it's an improvement on the original. She looks excited and not just like, duh. I tried my best, and it shows how far I went in my art journey, and I think I can be proud of that and... I can look forward to where I'm going to be in another few years. And I still can't draw this!